Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Our next guest has magnificent pecs. Nathan Buckley, former Collingwood coach, Brownlow medalist, AFL legend and Brownie's co-host on Best on Ground. Here's Bucks. Welcome. Welcome, Nathan Buckley. Thank you. What, what is the... Um What's the focus on pecs this morning? Mate, first, I, it's the, 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 the bra. And well, first, I'm worried about your pecs because I heard you, you, you tore a pec. Yeah, yes. but I'm, I'm coming back. But also, your pecs post-sport shouldn't be that good, Bucks. You hey, work out. What, how often have you seen me naked? <laughs> on, in the paper all the time. You're all greased up. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It is. You're I, old. I haven't bought a paper for about six years, so you've got me. <laughs> you're all up, you're old up like is a long distance. Is it on page distance. three? Am I on page three? Yes. You are, oh, you're, okay. you're, anytime you, we see you, you're oiled up like a long distance swimmer about to, <laughs> you know, swim to Cuba or something. Bucks, it's, it's, it's a big well, I've thing, I've only done that three or four times. Have you? But, yeah. Bucks, you have not signed up to come here in front of all these good people and be <laughs> objectified by these men. I apologise. Thanks. You you are a legend of the game. Let's give him another round of applause just for being here. We're thrilled. We're thrilled that Fox Star Footy have, have lent you to us. Thanks, Chrissy. How did you feel as a, as a Collingwood legend about the events of last weekend? Or is it too hey, fresh to a, even talk about? That was a really nice lady, and I thought you were going to be really nice, and then you'd thrown that. I just want to know from your face. perspective, your, what um, was your no, personal take? No, I think take? Um, we got some Collingwood people in the crowd. It was, um, it was, uh, there was a lot of momentum with what the Pies were doing, and yeah. it was another, you know, near, you know, near thing. I there, know. there seemed like there was some destiny about it, and I suppose from Pangy's perspective, there was destiny because that's what uh, a Carlton person likes to see happen. Of course, yes. you know what it feels like, yes. right? It happened in round 23, didn't it? It sure did. Why would you bring that up? <laughs> well, it's, it's what a weird thing to bring up. I'm, I'm going to offer you. I'm going to offer you my point, take on it. Answer the question. It's irrelevant. I, I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm, I'm a Carlton man. I'm wearing the colours today. You like, do you like this top box? I love it. So the Eddie... Eddie's three fiftieth. Yes, it was. Yeah. A, so it was a. Why, why is that one it was a commemorative, uh, you know, long sleeve that was put out for, um, you know, to celebrate Eddie Betts' three hundred and fifty games, and it's got all, a list of all his achievements mm. down the front, Swanee, which is which is great. And so, Where did the majority of them occur? Yeah, well, as a Carlton sport, it's not great to look at because they all happened at Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> That's my main problem with this. I mean, because your old coach Mick made a wonderful decision to get rid of Eddie Betts. <laughs> And uh, and then brought him, and then we got him back when he was old. He's, Great. Up. he's, he's your old coach as well. Like he coached your club. Oh, you know, as a Carlton supporter, you try to forget the Malthouse years. You know, then. So, <laughs> like your I'll, like your I'll last couple of Collingwood. Him. I'll protect him to my dying breath. Hey, now it's going to be exciting. You are presenting, <laughs> you are presenting the Norm Smith Medal as a former winner. Uh, back in was it O two or O three? Yeah, it was. It was. It was this this time twenty years ago that that I got the Norm Smith in when you were wearing your second premiership. That's today. right. Yes. It must have been a tough time. Do you for want to you. come to our premiership reunion? On Sunday? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> is it a cashy? Yeah. Well, you can actually. I think it is. Pang's turned up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Pang wants an envelope. We need no. him. I'm doing two songs. No. But, uh, <laughs> that's a great. That's a great honour. Though. Getting up there to present the Norm Smith medalist this year would be great. Yeah. Look, I, when I was asked to do it, I I did have dreams of uh, handing it over to a Collingwood player, that would have been great. Yes. But, I mean, it's um, my uh, my young fella, Ace, who's 14 today. It's a happy, happy birthday, birthday, Ace. Birthday, Ace. Is there a gym? He's, he's not here. He's still asleep, but yes. I'll, I'll get back. <laughs> and He wants uh, crispy bacon brioches, so I've got to go and fix them up. Wow, you're, he, you're, growing, you're growing him up to be a tough, <laughs> tough young yeah. man, eh? Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, he's, he's, he's going to be with me. We're going to we're going to we'll creep out onto the, oh, the arena beautiful. and um, yeah, and get that across to, to the deserving winner and, and soak up what's what will happen after the game. Hey, Bucks, let me give you some life advice. Yes, please, Dana. <laughs> Don't be a coach again. You look like a happier, better man. Yeah. Post being a coach, you look like life is way better. Yeah, but it's got nothing to do with me. What do you it's mean? The questions you're asking me, like you're asking me questions that are easier to answer, that oh, are yeah. better to consider. Yeah, right, when you're a coach, point. you get asked shit questions. <laughs> so <laughs> so you can point. only give shit answers. What's the worst? Point. Point? Do you remember one? Does one stand out? Um, generally, I mean, you didn't, you weren't at the presses too much, but so I can't really get into. They don't here, send foot no, soldiers to things. No, like that. no, it's just um, <laughs> mud, mud sticks. Like when you've been in the game long enough, and especially at Collingwood, if something's not quite perfect, then you sort of. You, right. go, you get asked about the same stuff. Right. It, 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 like, if you made a mistake mm. in life 
Um, someone like the journos are there just to remind you of that mistake as often <laughs> as they possibly can, in front of as many people as they can, and, and that, that wears you down a little bit. Right on. Yeah. That sucks. But, uh, yeah. In the Venn diagram of things that you and I have in common, not, not many intersecting, uh, intersecting bits and bobs, but one of them, of course, is Jonathan Brown. He's your co-host on Best on Ground, and yes. obviously I see him every morning here um, at Nova. What's he like to you to, to work with? The best ever? Is, are you flogging your book? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. What? You can have one. That's just not. Hey, that you is not any. That is not any be, a book. That is the second print, <laughs> and it's the glossy version. Oh, so, right. so it's, a, it's gone from a hard cover to Absolutely. paperback. How, how many? Uh, you, you you would have had a reprint, wouldn't you? I, I got about five pages in and I, I, I didn't finish it. But, uh, but oh, I'll, bats, I'll, I'll bats, get back. Now's your chance, bats, bats, No, I'm going to get back to it. No, Brownie, is, is a, he's been um, a, a welcome surprise sort of coming into Fox. I, th I love the idea of, of Fox and their culture. Um, but getting to know Brownie's been a lot of fun. We, uh, we started the first couple of Best on Ground episodes. It was a bit stiff. You know, we had a couple of beers after the show. But then half time of the footy, about the third show, we sort of sort of looked at Brandy and we sort of just we didn't even really need to say anything. It was just a nod and a wink. Went to the fridge, had a beer at half time yeah. about an hour before the show. Yeah, absolutely. We had a couple of beers <laughs> and that, that's I reckon that unlocked a little That's a key to it. Whenever I watch the show, uh, which is often enough because I have no social life, I'm always at home watching television. Um, you look wryly amused by the whole thing. Like you wandered in, you're like, Oh yeah, I'll do this, whatever. Like you can't believe you can't believe you're on telly. Your, your expression says I don't know I'm what surrounded Riley means. by idiots. I don't know what Riley means. Do you feel like you're surrounded by idiots? No, not at all. Okay. Um, I know that we are putting on a cloak of idiocy when we when we yes. do this and we're we're sort of putting you know, you, you have to go into character mm. a little. Yeah. And I'm still working out who that is. But um, yeah, it's been a bit of fun. Hey, there will, will be, uh, will be uh, characters on Saturday night. You know we're doing a, a live skit. A live skit. skit. Saturday night lifestyle. Live yes. skit. You're looking forward to that, Bucks? Oh, yeah, it should be awesome, <laughs> oh, yeah. Brandy. Yeah. Do not miss Nathan Buckley and our uh, best friend, Jonathan Brown, on and Best on book. Ground. 7 p.m. Friday book. night. On Fox Footy. What's the channel, boys? Do you even know? No, Bucks wouldn't know. Yeah, 504. Yes. By the, by the way, Bucks, if you can find one of Brownie's uh, books that's not signed, it's worth a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Buckley, everyone! Thanks, guys. Well, Chrissy, Sam and Brownie, Ripper Show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie, oh, unless it's a weekend. Yeah, the 100.